Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing a reorganizing of my spare storage. Um, I realize I'm going to, my storage is currently in four of these photo boxes and they're getting pretty tight um, already. So I thought instead of me just going into a fifth box, what I was going to do was do six boxes in all, but separate out my rounds and my squares because I could see myself accidentally putting in round drills into a square bag and vice versa. So especially with me recording them, you know, weird brain mishaps happen when you're recording. So, um, so I did end up buying two more boxes. Um, I couldn't find like I couldn't find any more sparkly colors. The only thing they had left in the store was gold. So I ended up buying two gold boxes. So then now I'll have three gold boxes and then I'm going to put all my rounds into the gold boxes and then my squares will be in my other three boxes that are not the same color, which might irk some people, but I'm happy with it because they're all sparkly. So, so here is my new empty box here. Whew. So I did end up being too lazy to cut up more of this card here. So what I ended up buying was, okay, so um, it's pretty empty now because I've, I've used it, but I bought some blank playing cards from Amazon. So these are, you know, they called it, I think they called it bridge size cards. So these are, you know, like the cards that you have, like the ace to the king, you know, playing cards. So these are just blank playing cards. I, I found a pack of 500 of them. So I didn't have to cut these card stock again because that was just took too long that I was, I had no desire to do it again. So these are a tiny bit shorter than my um, card that I had cut originally because the card was that I cut was four inches by 2.25 inches while these are um, these are 2.25 inches yeah 2.25 inches by it's supposed to be three and a half but it's a tiny bit less than three and a half but that's okay as long as they all match so I went and re-stickered all of them um, so now I have um, card all re-stickered and I figured it was probably good that they were shorter so then when I open the box I'll know which one is which just based off of which card height I'm using so yeah so I already have the card um all sectioned off into the three into how I want to put it into the three rows um yeah I did a lot of math and subtracting and putting them into seeing what the best way to separate them out. And I also have plans for at the end of the box. So the last box, I was going to put my rhinestones with my rounds. And then, um, because I feel like I have less round leftovers than squares. So yeah. So I did also cut up from just card from, <laughs> this is just junk mail. And I, I cut this 2.2... I mean two and a half inches high so that so that the card is taller than that and then I just cut it I just cut it this way until it fit there's no measuring the length of it so I've already cut that out so let's get started since it's gonna be a long video so okay so I decided to move my 5200s to my last box so I'm just gonna put my 5200s away um, mainly because in a lot of diamond paintings, the 5200s do end up showing up at the end. So um, I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my rounds in here. So 151 round, and then I'm gonna keep the squares in here until I'm done dealing with them. So I had originally just put my rounds and squares in the same one, and I probably would have kept it that up. If, if it wasn't for the fact that I was, I have a lot of spares now, apparently. So, um, so yeah, but yeah, I figure, especially with me, um, getting that art dot pack. Um, if you haven't been seeing me, my putting away my art dot pack, um, it's 
it does take up a lot of space um, adding all of that. So um, that's why I figured I was going to put my rhinestones and my specials in the with the rounds instead of with the squares since I figure I'll have more space with the rounds. Um, but yeah, um, this is all just my plan. Um, I'm hoping, I, I don't know, will I, will I have so many specials that I'll need more? I don't know. So I do end up putting the card behind the bag just because I, I feel like it makes more sense that I'll be able to see the card in back of the actual like baggie with the right the the the, the drills um, and that's how I started it so I can't change it to a different way because if I do I'll get confused so um, other people put the the drills behind the card I like putting it in front because I can see the um, the number on the card um, but, you know, do it your way, um, do what makes sense to your brain. Um, so all of my um, labels, I do, I have been sharing my templates for them so you could knock yourself out and <laughs> print them yourself. See, I have a lot of empty um, brown bags, so this is why I was like, I knew I didn't have as many rounds as I did squares, so... So yeah, like I said, I already, I already have what I planned to, I already have these all like separated out in, in like my little rubber bands. These are all my rows that I'm planning to do because I calculated how much I should be able to put in each box with me divided by three. Um, just making sure I'm getting all of them. I do have separate bags for different shades of color so some of mine I do have more than one bag and some I don't um, so let's see am I getting the right thing so yeah see the two 11s I do have two bags for it because I don't know if you could tell they're a different shade so yeah I don't know how much of this I should put up on but you know this is Pretty much me just rambling while doing this. Um, this isn't as brainless as I thought it would be, so I'm, yeah. Is this as brainless as I thought it would be? I don't know. Man, I have, see, I have way more squares. Um, 224. So, yeah. So, I, I'm doing this mainly because, yeah, like I said, I was, my... My boxes were getting full and instead of just adding a fifth box I figured um, kitting down wise it will be easier with um, with the rounds and the squares separated so that you know I don't accidentally <laughs> put in the wrong thing with the but it does make it a little bit more work because I now I have two sets of this dividers when I used to just have one set of dividers um, but it is at least making my boxes much less full. Yeah, 304. Um, I kind of like these. I kind of wish I went and bought the playing cards instead of cutting the card myself because cutting the card is a lot of work. Um, if you don't have a like cutting machine, I've seen people have like card cutting machines or so then cutting the card is not a big deal but for me I don't have any any fancy thing other than a trimmer um and and well the cutting <laughs> cutting this was one of those like uh, do I really want to do that again I'll just pay extra money and buy this pre-made like card playing card stuff so <laughs> that's what I ended up doing um and if you're like me and was just like, I don't want to cut that all, I, I will leave the link to this playing cards that I got on Amazon. Um, okay, it's three, seven. But yeah. Oh, and I've also been asked um, where I got all my baggies. Remarkably, all of my baggies have just been from diamond painting kits. I have apparently diamond painted so much. Man, I have three bags of gray rounds. 
eventually I'll probably combine some of these. Um, but yeah, I have I have diamond painted enough and accumulated enough baggies that all of these came from came from a diamond painting. Like, um, you know, if you get something from like certain stores, they're always the the drills are coming in the baggies, and I've noticed that more and more. Um, diamond painting companies, the drills are coming in the baggies, which I kind of like because it is easier to kit up from the baggies, but I'm also, if you saw my kitting up from Friday, um, you you saw that it's possible that they'll send you the wrong color, so um, even with the right label on there, they might send you the wrong color, so, so yeah. I have a now I kind of have a level of distrust of what color is in the baggie because of that. It never happened to me before, but I've always pondered whether they might just give me the wrong color in the bag since, you know, I don't know how things get how the drills go from the into the bag. I don't know if it's man um man filled or person filled or, you know, machine filled. But yeah, just be aware that you might get the wrong color if it's in the baggies, because it's happened to me. Um, I've actually, have I seen it happen to anyone? I don't know. I wonder if how often it happens where you get the wrong color in the baggie. Um, but it happens. And then... And then that's when you ha why you have the the spares because if you don't don't want to wait for the the replacement drills you can just use the stuff from your spares. Um, me, I sometimes I'm like eh, I have so many diamond paintings that I'll I'll wait for the spares. If not, then okay so. I finished with my first rubber band of, that was where I figured I was, I calculated how many I wanted to keep. So there's still a lot of space, which yay, that's what I wanted. Um, so for now, I'm just going to put in some trays back here just to hold it up until, you know, I get enough and then I'll take out more and more of the trays. Um, but. Yeah, I, I have so many diamond paintings that I have so many trays, like, do you want to see my green boat um, collection here? <laughs> um, I'm using these ones just mainly because they do, they don't stack that well, or, so they do take up a lot of space. So yeah, that's my first row for the rounds, and then I'm going to add a piece of card here um, to do the divider, and then here's my next... Um, so yeah, so I've been able to accumulate enough um, baggies to to do this without <laughs> buying some. Um, so yeah, if you just you know like if you don't end up putting um, a baggie for everything yet, and you just do it as you go along, you might actually be able to accumulate <laughs> enough. Um, I mean, some companies do come with the baggies, like, um, I remember getting a whole bunch of baggies from my Dreamer Designs ones, um, my diamond paintings from Mian, I get a whole bunch of baggies, um, the, this, I don't know if this Diamond Art Club come with baggies, I have, I have a couple Diamond Art Clubs, but I can't recall if they came with the bags, um, um, my Star Wars one came with a lot of bags, and they came with like some really good quality bags. I actually have, I don't actually haven't used them on these because I'm like, they're such good quality. I want to use them for I don't know what, but it's just like I don't know what to use them for. Um, but yeah, if you've been diamond painting a while, you you will probably be able to accumulate enough baggies um, by the time you actually need them. Um, and then I mean, I like I do keep I do keep. The baggies, you know, that the drills come in, I just end up flipping it around so that you don't see the the number um, from it. So, yeah. So what can I talk about today? <laughs> so 
So this is, yeah, I thought I would need more concentration doing this, but apparently I don't. Um, so I am, I am getting a couple more diamond paintings from different diamond painting companies that have contacted me. So um, be on the lookout for them. I ponder whether I should keep saying yes to them, but I figure I haven't, tr like, no one has tried all the diamond painting companies, right? There's like so many of them and I figure I should just say yes to try them out and then I'll tell you my experience um, with the company because you can't, some, no one could buy every single, a diamond painting from every single place. Um, so, yeah, so when I get contacted, as long as there's no, it doesn't seem a little shady or anything like that, I, I do say yes. Um, and then I try to finish at least one diamond painting from every diamond painting company that has asked me to do a review, just because a review isn't complete until I finish one. So the current one I'm working on um, is the diamond, a diamond painting from Everyday E-Crafts. Um, I think the, the kidding up, yeah, the kidding up, it will show up this Friday for that diamond painting. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Tomorrow's video should be what is tomorrow's video? Tomorrow's video should be um, an unboxing of something I bought. So not not everything I unbox is just freebies from um, a diamond painting company. I do still buy stuff. Um, Wednesday, I have a completed diamond painting on there. I do kind of have like a strange schedule that I kind of try to keep, but I don't always... Um, keep it like so right now my schedule is um monday is something i've been doing like kidding downs and in my um putting in my art putting away my art dot um drills because i figure i'm showing my kidding down storage so it kind of works for it um and then tuesdays and thursdays i've been showing um i've been showing unboxings um if I don't have enough unboxings for Tuesdays and Thursdays, then I will put in something else on one of those days. And I'm, I didn't get some of the stuff that I thought I was going to get by this weekend. So, um, yeah, Thursday m might not be an unboxing. It might be something else, depending on if I get something, t um, if I get something in the mail on Monday, um, I may, yeah, depending if I get some stuff on Monday, um, I will, though it will still stay the non-unboxing, so, but if I do get something in the mail in time for, so now I'm getting into the next box here, um, I might record the unboxing instead, but we'll see. Um, I typically don't record in the middle of the week. I usually record during the weekend, but um, I'm not as ahead as I was before. I used to, I used to like record and then not post the video until I don't know maybe uh, two weeks later. But I'm not as ahead as I was before, so um, now I'm just like, okay, something is coming in the mail tomorrow. I might. I might do the unboxing and it's unboxing of more storage. I know on my last unboxing I was saying something about like not needing more storage, but stuff went on sale and I'm expecting <laughs> I'm expecting it tomorrow. So um I might record that or I might just be like, do you guys really need to watch more storage unboxings? Um I don't know. Maybe you guys like the storage unboxings. I do I do get a lot of views from them. But <laughs> um but yeah, no, I bought more storage. Um, it's pretty much what's hindered me from doing my storage stash video is because every time I contemplate doing the storage stash video, I actually have storage on my way, on the way to me. So I'm like, maybe I should wait till after that one gets to me and then just add it to the storage stash video. We'll see. 
But yeah, if it if the item does not come tomorrow, then or tomorrow, t that's Monday. I'm recording this on Sunday, so that's the, you're gonna see this uh, on Monday. So if it doesn't come on Monday, aka today when you're watching this, um, or then my Thursday video, I've already have something recorded for that. Um, but it's one of those ones that could just show up anytime. It's not. Like, I feel like unboxings kind of have a, a you know, a due date kind of thing, while other videos are more like, oh, I could just insert it in wherever there's a, um, an available space on my channel. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I'm also kind of behind on recording my finished videos. Um, I actually do have a couple finished already. Um, I just haven't recorded the, the video, mainly because okay, one of them, or two of them, or okay, there's one finish that I haven't recorded and I finished it like over a month ago, mainly because I have to seal it and I really don't like sealing diamond paintings. Um, it's That's why I was trying so hard to like the, um, the um, Liquitex Poly, um, the Liquitex um, gloss varnish because that one doesn't smell so much, but um, but it seems like what still wins in my favorite sealer is the um, Minwax Polycrylic, and whenever I need to seal something with that, I just don't like it just because it it smells. Um, you have to do it when it's in a well ventilated area and um, otherwise your room gets stunk up with the smell for a long time. Um, but yeah, though, there's there's one finish that I have that I finished like oh, over a month ago. You might have seen the unboxing. It was my tissue boxes. I finished that a while back and I still haven't put tissues in it because I do need to seal them. Um, and and I'm just like, I don't feel like sealing. Um, because you do have to seal them because I would be afraid that the excess tape or glue would, the, the tissues would stick to the excess glue. Um, and that's not, that's not sound like a fun thing. Um, so yeah, I finished this row. So obviously I, my, my storage is going to be much more spread out. Um, but that was the whole point of adding more boxes so that they'll be more spread out. And then I'll just take out the, these trays in the back when I, you know, when these things get more full. So my next one, five, eight, one. So yeah, I do have a couple things that I have finished a while back that I just haven't recorded because I'm like, I don't want to record the... I don't want to, I don't want to seal. Okay, I was just, I was kind of afraid, I was like, oh no, are the cards too, like, um, too thick and it's not going to close, um, not going to, is it not going to fit? But it fits. It's, it's more the baggies that might be too long. Um, I might cut the card here a little lower, we'll see. Um, it's, it's, it's the, it's the baggies that are getting in the way here. We'll see. Okay. I don't know how, like, okay, so I don't know if she's the one who started the whole, like, putting the spares into a box thing, but she's probably the most prevalent user, user, user of this storage system, but um, if you have watched um, um, Rebecca at 4 Kids at 147, she has made this storage super beautiful, way more beautiful than my storage. Um, go check out her videos to see a much more pretty version of this storage box than I do. But I don't know, I don't think she's the one who came up with it, but I think she's the one who has showcased this storage system the most and she has I she might have been the one that came up with using the 
photo boxes for this because I, I'm pretty sure the storage in a shoebox thing has been around longer than than her videos, but um, but she has made this so pretty. I have no idea how she gets card stock um like foam boards into here because I can't fit my I can't I can't fit a foam board into here. I've tried. Um, it it I've only been able to do this card in the middle. Um, so maybe the photo boxes in the UK are bigger, or maybe the photo boxes in Joanne's are smaller. I don't know. All I know is there was no fitting a there was no fitting a foam board in here, and I and I tried. I even like cut up the foam board and then I stood on it to flatten it and that didn't work at all. So, so yeah. So, yeah. The only way I could do it is just this, um, just this like cardstock. But, but yeah, her her storage looks way nicer than mine. But I don't plan to keep as few as she does, and I don't I don't plan to mix my my colors like she does. So this mine is just going to probably always be a little bit bulkier than she hers. So it's not going to end up looking as pretty, but this is what I'm using. So yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I might just do the one box and be like, there you go. I think you get the gist <laughs> just because I don't have, I don't have anything to talk about. Um, Cause yeah, life is boring. My life is kind of boring right now. Um, well, I don't know. There's a little bit of drama going on at work, but which has made work a little bit stressful. But uh, six forty-five or six forty-five. Um, so yeah. I don't know. I've been diamond painting more just because of the stress from work. So, hey, that's what diamond painting is for, right? Work stress, um, de-stressing, all that stress. Um, but, yeah, other than that, it's... There are more and more places in the U.S. that are getting more lenient in their masking policies, so I don't... I don't know if that's a good thing too early or doing it too early or we're, I don't know. We'll see. Um, for now, I'm planning to just mask up un until like I'm sure more and more people are vaccinated. I am. I actually am fully vaccinated now. Yay! Um, so it'll allow me a little bit more extra comfort when doing things. Um, but yeah. Other than that, I've I have been I've been actually diamond painting a lot just because of stress stressors at work. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is a little tight fitting here. I'm wondering, is it because my box hasn't got loosened up yet? Um, so yeah. So the. Yeah, the, the diamond painting that's gonna get kitted up this week, um, this week that's on that's gonna show up on Friday. I'm actually almost done with it, so <laughs> I actually did kit up something else yesterday, and that's not showing up until next Friday, not this coming Friday, but next Friday. Um, I do. If you're wondering about my Joy Autumn diamond painting, yeah, it's not turning out as nice as I thought it would, so it's. I've lost a little motivation in finishing it, um, so I finished probably one fourth, maybe a little bit more than one fourth of the diamond painting, and and it's it's a little bit more pixelated than I like, so um, so yeah, it's like uh, it, I'm seeing it hung on my door because that's where my in progress stuff is. It's just hanging on my door. Um, and I'm just looking at it and I'm like, should I start it up again or just do the new one or start it up again or do the new one? And then usually the new one wins. Um, I also have, um, 
a while back I posted the kidding up of a mystery diamond painting and I actually kitted it up like maybe in February um, and I finished half of it and then when I finished half of it I, I looked at it and I was like I still don't know what this is this is still a mystery to me and the colors were bland and and then I so I just kind of stopped working on it so then I have it half finished and then just randomly, I don't know, maybe a month ago, I was like, okay, I need to do more of this. Might as well keep going with my mystery diamond painting. So I did an, another quarter of the diamond painting and then I stopped again. So, so yeah, um, yeah, my whole mystery diamond painting is, is not, it's, it's just like sitting there like, I, I'm, I have only one fourth left and I have no desire to keep doing it. So yeah, I don't know if mystery diamond paintings were for me or I just got like a bad mystery diamond painting because it's like real, like I've already finished three fourths of it and I'm like looking at it and I'm thinking, what in the world is this? Um, so yeah, there'll be just a day where I'm just like, okay, I just want to, I'll just finish this. I, I can't have it keep staring at me like unfinished. Um, but you know, when you have actually a lot of diamond paintings, you do kind of have just the look and apparently because I do, I have a lot of storage. You don't have this, you're, you're not, you don't feel this, like you don't feel compelled to finish the diamond painting just because you need the storage. Um, you just kind of like look at it and you're like, eh, I don't, I have more storage. I could just do something else. Um, so maybe that's a that's a minus of having so much storage um, is where you could just kit something else up because the one that that one that you already currently have kitted up is not it's not turning out as nice as you like um, man I'm I'm like putting away these rounds and I seriously do have so many squares that even with my squares left here I'm not even sure if I'll be able to fit them into three boxes. We'll see. We'll see. But my rounds, I have apparently so few that you see I'm putting all these, all these like trays in the back. So I don't know, maybe I should put my rounds into just two boxes. That might actually work. Um, but I didn't realize my rounds were really that few. Maybe it's just because I have the all those extra squares from the art dot um, pack that I got and maybe that's why I just have so few squares I mean so many squares but yeah I'm just like I'm looking at it I was like my squares aren't, e aren't even that like unfold now that I'm separating out the rounds so I might have to rethink my my separating here um, but yeah I don't know. I might have to rethink this. Yeah, what what should I do? Um, I figure I'll just finish with my how I have these separated and then I'll ponder if I do maybe I'll need just four boxes for and just two boxes for the round. Um because yeah, here is So here is my first box for the rounds um, completed here, um, and then I'll shift to my next box, um, my next empty box. Yeah, that's so light. Um, for my new, so my next cards here, seven fifty four. Yeah, I don't know. My my squares don't seem that unfull now that I'm taking out the rounds. Um, yeah, I don't know. Is this gonna work? Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm really liking this card, so I'm, I kind of wish I bought it originally instead of taking all the time for cutting the card stock. Um, man, but, but yeah, if you're 
not wanting to cut all this cardstock. I do, I do seem, I do really like these um, playing cards. But yeah, I think I'm now I'm running out of things to talk about. Maybe I'll just say the names of the colors, right? Pink medium, 776 is pink medium, 777 is red deep, 778 is antique mauve. I do see antique mauve, I see, see the mauves a lot, so 779 is brown, apparently I don't have any brown um, on both rounds and squares at this point. 780 is topaz, ultra, very dark. 781 is topaz very dark. 782 is topaz dark. Oh, I have two bags for my rounds here. 783 is topaz medium. Oops, put that in front. 791 is cornflower blue very dark. 792 is cornflower blue dark. 793 is cornflower blue medium. Apparently there's a lot of cornflower blues. I don't even know what cornflower is. Is flowers on like corn stalks? Is that what they're called? Are they blue? Um, you can tell my complete lack of agricultural experience. 796 is royal blue dark 797 is ooh i have three bags of this is royal blue so apparently the royal blues are not are are very common and don't match each other 798 is oh i have two bags of this one is delft blue dark and 799 if i can get to it is delft blue medium okay okay so Maybe they'll actually have space for the squares. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the next box, 800. Okay. So 800 is Delft Blue Pale. 801 is Coffee Brown Dark. 803 is Blue Deep. Wonder why it's blue deep as opposed to, I don't know, blue dark. 806 is peacock blue dark. Man, I, I seriously don't have a lot of brown colors. 807 is peacock blue. I have a couple of that. 813. Oh, wait, where's my 89? Oh, wait, 8, 809. I kept the thing in there. 809 is delft blue. 813 is blue light. 814 is Garnet Dark. 815 is Garnet Medium. Let's see. 816 is Garnet. 817 is Coral, coral Very Dark. Coral Red Very Dark. 818 is Baby Pink. So I do also plan to um, organize my rhinestones um, and ABs in the box for the rounds, um, just because I figured that's where I'm going to have more space. Um, and plus, I don't have many specials that are squares. I did see a listing on AliExpress that had rhinestones in squares, and I was very, very, very tempted to buy it. And then I was like, when am I going to use this? Um, it's, yeah, I, I did see a listing for it and I was very tempted to buy it. And I was like, okay, you have so many spare drills. Maybe, maybe if it's on the next AliExpress sale, if it actually goes on sale, I might buy it. Um, the last AliExpress sale, it didn't go on sale. So I was like, okay, I'll just wait till it's on sale. But yeah, I saw... I saw like square rhinestones and I wanted to buy the clear ones, the ones that kind of just look like clear, clear glass. And then I didn't because yeah, 
I mean, I do bling up my diamond paintings, but I have a whole bunch of ABs that I could bling use to bling up. So, so for now, and I have so many spares that I'm like, maybe for now I should just use the stuff I have. Um, that's the whole point of keeping all of this stuff is that you use your spares to do the bling up, not buy more to do blinging up. Although I have bought square ABs because I don't have many things to bling up squares like rounds. I could use rhinestones um, and round ABs while squares there don't tend to be square rhinestones, rhinestones, although I did say I found the listing on AliExpress that had the square rhinestones. Um, but I didn't go off and buy it yet. Um, see, I'm saying yet because I might buy it in the future. Um, I didn't go buy it yet just because I'm waiting for a sale. Um, I'm one of those people. They need to be on sale for me to buy it. Um, because, yeah, they just need to be on sale. I need an excuse to buy something. I, I can't just buy it because I want it. I need to be like, well, it's on sale. I could buy it now. Um, <laughs> That's my that's my thing with like like the more expensive diamond painting companies. Like I have something on pre-order from Diamond Art Club, but it's not showing up. See, I'm see the thing with the pre-order is I already paid for the sucker and I'm not getting it until like July or something. I think that's when it's coming, July. So it's like uh, I I gave in to the pre-order stuff. Um, just because I finally found three diamond paintings that I liked enough to to get that were in stock at the same time. See, that's the problem. It's like there are diamond paintings I like, but then they're not in stock at the same time. And I wanted to use the, the buy um, to get one free um, coupon code. So I needed three at least to be in stock at the same time that I was willing to get from Diamond Art Club. All right, this one is much fuller um, than my other one where I had all those extra space. So I must have way more of these colors than I did on the first box. Um, because I did, I did like separate these out into what I thought was the good enough quantities. But yeah, no, these ones, I must have more drills of these ones. All right, so what was I saying? Yeah, I do have some stuff that I pre-ordered. I ordered pre-order from Diamond Art Club, but yeah, I'm not seeing those until July or something um, because I think the latest one was July. Um, but I kind of just don't like that. I just don't like, why do we have to pre-order? I just feel like, yeah, they should get enough for everybody, but but then I'm also wondering if they're just getting less so that they could have this hype for the pre-ordering. Um, yeah, that's why sometimes, I, as much as I like the legally licensed diamond paintings, I don't like the whole like, oh, there's such a limited quantity kind of thing for it and then you feel compelled to buy it. It just, I don't like that kind of pressure. I just, I want to buy it because I want to buy it, not because I'm afraid it's going to run out. Because you have a different mentality buying things when you're when it's that kind of um, limited edition kind of thing. But I think it works for them because they get people like these things run out so quickly. Like like I saw Dreamer Designs was adding added a whole bunch of diamond paintings and I like them because they're they had a whole bunch of just forty by fifties or like you know not nothing that was massive and. I personally prefer the smaller diamond paintings, not because I'm not capable of doing the big ones. I just seem to have, I seem to enjoy the smaller ones more than doing the big ones. So, yeah. So I saw Dreamer Designs had a couple that I wanted to get, but there was never like three in stock. Oh, so Dreamer Designs also has a buy two, get one free coupon code. Like seriously, it just... Um, if you have Instagram and then an ad for one of these companies shows up and then they have like a coupon code in there, seriously, just write it down. Oh, I have a, I have a Word document that just has a bunch of coupon codes. Seriously, just write down all the coupon codes. And then at the time of you buying, you'll have the coupon code available. Um, because they don't, 
they t I, I at least for me i haven't noticed them like expiring they seem to still work um even months after well depending on what the coupon code is so there is a coupon code for a buy to get one free for from dreamer designs too but i have yet to go on the site where i was able to find three that i liked that were in stock or like available for pre-order at the same time so yeah So yeah, then I don't end up ordering just because I want to get three, but they're not all available at the same time. And then, yeah. And then I've also wanted to buy some from Craft Ease because they have the diamond paintings. Their their style of diamond paintings is like a lot of them are things I would want to diamond paint. And also they don't do the ginormous diamond paintings, which I love. Most of their diamond paintings are like 40 by 50 and below. And I just wish there were more companies that did the legally licensed ones that weren't all just super ginormous. Um, there is, I think, there is an audience for the smaller diamond paintings. Um, so I've been wanting to buy something from Crafties, but um, I'm still waiting to see what more they add because I do want to get to the free shipping. So for free shipping, I think you have to get to three. And then right now they have a coupon where if you buy three, you get the one free so then i've been trying to see if i could find four of them that i want i like at the same time and um for now they have such a small um inventory that um i haven't found four that i would and the thing is a lot of them are very similar to each other so unless you like doing like a set of the same kind of images for me that i just kind of wanted to wait to see what other artists they convert to diamond painting because they do have a lot of um, paint by numbers so I'm just waiting to see what more they convert before I buy more if, or before I even buy it because yeah no their their images are very much the type or the their sizes are very much the type of sizes I like so we'll see I'm waiting to see but yeah I'm not one of those I, I'm, I'm one of those ones for some reason I hate paying for shipping so I will always end up buying more just so that I don't have to pay for shipping because I would rather spend like like let's say shipping is like seven dollars I would rather spend that seven dollars on another diamond painting than um than paying for shipping so um so yeah I'm not one of those who just buy like one I'm a buy enough to get to free shipping which i wish wasn't so high like i mean i bought something from crystal canvas art yeah and then there's their diamond paintings are not expensive but yet they're just free shipping to the u.s so i wish there were more companies like that where um the shipping was not Free, or it was free you know and I don't know that's just me so yeah the the not being able to find enough diamond paintings that I like to get to the free shipping does stop me from buying diamond paintings which is probably good um, because yeah no diamond painting for me I have yet to find a diamond painting where I saw it and I was like I have to have it I, I can't not have this in my life no there's I just have so many diamond paintings that nothing no diamond painting for me so far has been like I have to buy it now um so yeah and then see the thing is you have such a stash by the time you get to it you might not even want to do it anymore that's what I found like sometimes um oops this one's a 951 so yeah, I, I have yet to find a diamond painting that where I saw it and I was like, I immediately have to get this and I will pay full price for it or <laughs> nope, has not happened at this point in my diamond painting career. So yeah, I think I just have so many diamond paintings that nothing is a I must have it for me. So yeah. So yeah, what do I, yeah, I said I had, I'm still, I'm going to wait for my Diamond Art Club that's not showing up until July. Ugh, I can't believe I bought a pre-order. Um, 
<laughs> but I was like, there was, there was finally a point where I found three that I liked that were not ginormous um, at the same time. So I could use the buy two, get one free thing. So yeah, and I'm waiting to, waiting for me to have that same thing for Dreamer Designs where I have three that I like enough to to buy at the same time. And I really want to try one of their rounds because I have not been happy with the squares. So I really want to try their rounds, but their rounds are also very limited in their images. And yeah, and their, their stuff tends to be kind of massive too for a lot of things. Although I do like a lot of their images. So, um, so yeah. There's, there'll be a point where I buy more. I just, I'm just timing it because I'm one of those who, who am, who's willing to wait for the sale. I'm, I have way too many diamond paintings that I don't need to. Nothing is a buy, a must buy for me. <laughs> and that's just me. Nothing is a must buy. Everything is a. I could wait, and then see it. And by the time you wait, you're just like, oh, okay. It's no big deal. I have so many other diamond paintings to do. Um, so yeah. I don't know what else to talk about. I'll probably just say the numbers again until I... So here's round... or baby green medium. 967 is peach light. I don't have any of that. 970 is pumpkin light. I like the name of that. 971 is pumpkin. That reminds me, I need to start buying um, fall pictures. Um, because I do like diamond painting things that are relevant to the season. So yeah, I think I ended up finishing all my... I do have... I do have a diamond art club that I bought last year that's a fall painting. But I bought it past fall, so um, I was going to save it for this fall. So I know I'm going to do that during the fall. Um, and then... One of the Diamond Art Club pre-orders was a fall painting too, so I'll do that during the fall. Um, but yeah, I see summer summer pictures are not as interesting to me, so I really like the fall and the winter pictures. They they just have such beautiful colors. Summer is like, eh, when am I gonna get beaches and stuff like that? For some reason, it's not it's not an entertaining picture to me. So. Yeah, so the fall pictures is like, ooh, look at the fall pictures. I, I love like all the oranges and reds. Um, and then the winter pictures, I love winter pictures. Um, so, and the Christmas pictures, I love Christmas pictures. So, um, do I have, I have, I have a couple Christmas pictures now. So, um, but yeah, I think I need to start buying my fall and winter pictures because Seriously, this is the time where you start buying the fall and winter pictures because, you know, things take a while to get to you, especially if you're ordering it from from China. And and plus, diamond paintings takes a long time, you know. Just because it's a fall picture, you could be doing it in the summer because it takes you that long to finish the fall picture. So, yeah. Huh. I should... I do have, like, two more big Dreamer design ones I should do. Huh, which one? I think I might do the... I might kit it up. I might kit it up next month um, in June. Or it'll be June. No, no, it's not going to be June yet when this will... I'll, I'll kit one up in, in June. Um, I think I might do the... Is it called the Secret Garden or the Sweet Garden? Um, that will probably be my next one. I was going to do the... Man, I can't remember what's the name of the, the picture. Um... I was going to do the one with the water and the cottage, but um, I don't think I'll be able to finish the three this year, so I think I'm going to save that for next year. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to do the secret garden one, or the sweet garden, I forgot what it's called. Um, so I might get that up soonish. Um, I do need another big diamond painting to work on since... My Joy Autumn one is not bringing me joy right now. <laughs> um, it's like that, what's that Marie Kondo thing? It's like, is this bringing you joy? Although, um, yeah, I don't think I could Marie Kondo my diamond painting stash. There is none of this. Like, I look at it, if this is bringing you joy, and you're probably going to say yes <laughs> for a diamond painting. Um, 
But that's why I tend not to go crazy on limited edition things just because I don't like the pressure of like just buying something because I'm afraid it's going to run out. That is not my way of buying. I don't like it. Um, I don't want that to be the reason I buy something is because it's going to run out. I like to ponder my, my buying sometimes. So, so yeah. So 30, 33. So yeah, in case you're wondering how long something like this takes, I'm doing this in real time. This does take a while. And it took me a long time to put the stickers. Like I was pondering whether to include the sticker pudding uh, in the video and I'm glad I didn't because that th I would have had to make this like a 50 million part series because yeah, the stickering was, was very tedious. Um, putting the stickers on these um, cards, yeah, was a lot of work, um, and plus I feel like I would have not put them on as straight if I was doing it on camera because I just feel like I just want it to be done. <laughs> um, oop. So yeah, I think I might just finish um, putting the stuff away on this box and then, and then I'll end the video. Um, I don't know if I'll do a part two. Or I might just finish this off screen. Um, we'll see how I feel. Um, but yeah, I think after this box, after I finish this line of... Because I'm going to still have to do a third box and then fix up the squares. Um, so yeah, I'll ponder whether I'll make another part of this. Or maybe I'll just see what the response is. I am posting this tomorrow. And then I think after I record this, I'm just going to stop and just put this away and then go back to it another time. So depending on whether people want a part two of this, um, I'll make a um, part two. If not, then I'll just do it off screen. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm completely running out of things to talk about. Um, so it's a lot like it's a lot harder to think of things to talk about when nothing is happening in your life uh, so three two eight is salmon dark i mean what did i do today i went to costco today um i don't know if that's interesting um i do know costco is um one of those establishments that said that you don't have to wear a mask yet but when i went there is still a good amount of people wearing masks um and yeah, I went to Costco just to buy rotisserie chicken. And of course, you know, you don't just leave buying rotisserie chicken. So I bought a couple more stuff, you know, to fill my stomach up with food. You know, I went, yeah, I went to buy rotisserie chicken and the croissants because I really like the Costco croissants. I actually just freeze them. Um, put, um, I just put them into the big freezer bags and then just take them out one by one um, because they don't actually freeze like in together so you don't even have to like separate them out you just have to be like okay i just want one and then i take it out and then i would leave it to defrost for for lunch i normally eat them for lunch the croissants um and they're so cheap but yeah i was tempted to buy some bagels but i was like no i i don't i don't really eat bread that much um because i figure it's to help me keep my weight down. Don't buy bread. Um, but the croissants are my my one bread item that I'm just going to keep buying. Okay, so there is that one. There must not be as many for this one as there are the others. Because I did count these. Um, I did count them. And these should be equal distribution of carbs. So... So obviously there are some lines where there's way more DMCs, or there's way more, I have way more leftovers, but yeah. There is my second box for the rounds. I still do have um, two more um, rows that I was going to do for the round, and then I was going to leave the last um, row, I mean column, for my special shapes. and. And then after that, I'm going to shuffle the the squares into more manageable sizes. 
but yeah, I think I'm done for this video, but um, stay tuned for part two if there's an interest for part two. I might just put part two up just because, but yeah. All right, so thank you for watching and happy time in painting. Bye.